Imposter syndrome is like that sneaky voice in your head that whispers, you're not good enough, even when your achievements loudly say otherwise. Imagine, you've just aced a project, and instead of basking in the glory, you're fretting. What if they find out I'm a fraud? Sounds familiar? You're not alone. This phenomenon is surprisingly common, affecting people from new hires to CEOs, making them doubt their accomplishments and fear being exposed as a fraud. So, what exactly fuels this relentless self-doubt? It's a cocktail of psychological factors and societal pressures. For starters, perfectionism plays a huge role. It's when you set the bar sky high and then berate yourself for any performance that's less than perfect. And then there's the Dunning-Kruger effect, where people with limited knowledge overestimate their abilities, contrasting sharply with those suffering from imposter syndrome who can't see their own competence. But it's not just what's going on in our heads. Society and culture have their share in it, too. Growing up, we often receive mixed signals, be humble, but also be the best. It's no wonder we end up questioning our worth when we're constantly bombarded with messages that we're never enough. Recognizing imposter syndrome is the first step to beating it. It manifests in various ways, like a chronic feeling of inadequacy, attributing success to luck, or fearing failure so much that it stops you from trying new things. Understanding that this is a widespread issue, affecting people at all levels, can be a real eye-opener. Now, for the good part, how do we kick imposter syndrome to the curb? Cognitive behavioral techniques are a great start. They help in identifying and challenging the negative thought patterns fueling these feelings. Another game changer is building a solid support network. Talking to peers, seeking mentors, or even professional help can provide much needed perspective and validation. And let's not forget the power of celebrating our achievements, no matter how small. Every success is a testament to our hard work and talent, not just sheer luck or coincidence. By acknowledging our accomplishments, we reinforce our self-worth and chip away at those feelings of being an imposter. Hearing about people who've successfully battled imposter syndrome can be incredibly inspiring. These success stories not only show that it's possible to overcome these feelings, but also offer practical advice and strategies that worked for them. From challenging negative thoughts to seeking support and recognizing their own value, these individuals have navigated their way out of the shadows of self-doubt. In conclusion, overcoming imposter syndrome is more about the journey than the destination. It's about learning to trust in our abilities, accepting ourselves, and understanding that perfection is not the goal. The aim is to embrace our achievements, learn from our failures, and know that it's okay to be a work in progress. So, let's silence that nagging voice of doubt and step into the light of self-acceptance and confidence. Remember, you're not an imposter. You're genuinely remarkable.